Hmm? The door is open. Why, hello there. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Professor Sycamore. And what would your name be? That's a very nice name. Welcome to my laboratory of some sorts. Now, you are here because you're a brand new Pokemon trainer, correct? <laughs> Fantastic! You're freshly new and you get to learn more about our Pokemon here, in this world we live in. You see, our world is made up of these beautiful creatures we call Pokemon. And, well, as you can see, they can be quite friendly. But also, some of them are wild and dangerous. And that's why you need a team of Pokemon to handle those dangerous Pokemon. And maybe even you can catch some and add on to your team. Train them up to make your best friends or a fighting titan. So tell me, before I give you your starting Pokemon, I want to ask a few questions if you don't mind. All right. I've already asked your name, so I'm going to just write it down here. Okay. And are you a boy or a girl? Rather not say? That's fine. I'm not here to judge you. All right. What is your age? Okay. Your height and weight. Okay. And jot that down right there. And what is your favorite typing of Pokemon? If you don't know the typings already, I can show you through this chart here. Okay. You like fire and dragon types. I'll keep that in mind that I might have a Pokemon for you. Mm-hmm. Anyway, do you know about different typing advantages with Pokemon? No? Well, each different Pokemon has a typing. There's a lot of typings in this world, but the main three ones I'll tell you about are fire, grass, and water. Fire beats grass, and water beats fire. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a put-together puzzle in a way. You just need to figure out which typing is the best for your team. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure you know how to level up Pokemon. It's just by training and either giving them rare candies. You see, these rare candies are very, very kind of rare, hence the name. But it levels up your Pokemon accidentally. And they love the taste of these. I mean, even my Pokemon love them. Here, have five of them. I don't really need them, because my team is already leveled up to where I want them. Mm-hmm. Well, don't use them all up in one place. Like I said, they're rare, and they're hard to find. All right. Well, I'm going to show you around my little laboratory here. You see, over here are my books filled with... The brim of Pokemon knowledge. I like to keep up to date with all my knowledge of Pokemon, because there are new ones being discovered almost every other day. And especially with these fossil Pokemon. These new fossil Pokemon that have come in recently, they've been oddly placed. Like, oddly made. I don't know if the scientists who dug them up have mismatched their... Skeletons. But, they make new Pokemon. 
with different typings. They may look a little bit similar to in much to each other. But I promise you, they are different in their own ways. Speaking of fossils, over here are my fossil cleaners and fossil tubes. I have to clean the fossils out to make sure what type of fossil it is, and then I can throw it into the fossil system, and it will clean it and make it bring back life into it. Yes, from a simple stone and skeleton, I can bring fossils back into the living world. Mm-hmm. And over here is where I heal and read with my Pokemon. I have my own personal healer, so every time my Pokemon gets hurt, I can throw them in their Pokeball and place them in there. Matter of fact, I shall give you an example. I have this Pokeball here. It has one of the starters in it that I'm going to lay out for you so you can have a choice between each three. And we will place this one right in the healer. And it's done. Just like that, this Pokemon is fully healed from any type of damages or status effects. Now, you did say that your favorite typing of Pokemon is fire. Well, and dragon, but I don't have any dragon type Pokemon with me today. If I would, they would have easily been sold out by now by different trainers that come through here. Yes, I sell Pokemon, but they are at a price, very, very high price. Because, well, I do have to go out and catch these Pokemon myself. And usually I try to do that on my days off. It's kind of a side hustle of mine, but it still pays off the bills. Now, if you could follow me, I would like to take you outside to pick your new friend. You see, I have three Pokemon here selected in my bag here, and I'm going to throw them out and release them, and you just tell me which one catches your eye. All right, you three, come on out! All right, take your pick. The typings of these Pokemon are fire, water, and grass. Mm-hmm. How did I see that coming? <laughs> All right, so you picked the fire starter, Litten. Well, are you happy with your Pokemon? That's great to hear. I'm glad. All right, you two, come back. I'll just put these in my bag and take them for myself. All right. Now, before you go, I'm going to teach you a little bit more about your Pokemon, but it might take until the next day. So you're welcome to stay at my house, if you're welcome. Of course you're welcomed. By all means, I have a guest bedroom upstairs. I'm not using it. Mm-hmm. Alrighty then. I'm glad to have you aboard. Now, before you do, go talk about your Pokemon and your new friend to your little friends there. I also have to give you something. This right here is called a Pokedex. This will digitally record every single Pokemon you come encounter with and or catch. Catching all these Pokemon means that you will collect data for me 
in completing this Pokedex. It's been a lifetime dream of mine to be doing this, and with your help, I can do this. And of course, I'm going to give you something in return as well. Here you go. Now, you can go along and tell your friends about your new Pokemon. I'm a bit busy here myself with these fossils and whatnot. Alright, have a good day.